All right, thank you so much, Peter. Well, you might have a chance to see an amazing celestial sight. The Northern Lights will be on display. The Aurora Line for tonight's event stretches all the way down to the southern border of Michigan. Uh, the question is, will you be able to actually enjoy it? Will cloud cover block the view? Well, for that, let's bring in 7 First Alert meteorologist Mike Taylor because, I mean, this would be an amazing event if right. you can actually just get away from some of the city lights to see that incredible event. I know that picture from Tom Jones. Mm. I want, we want to yes. see more of those from you at home and hopefully. Give us the lights. Give us the no lights. No clouds. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a look that says uh, silence yeah. speaks louder yeah, than words. You know, at Michigan, it seems to always do this to us. Anytime there's something really cool to see, the clouds are like, uh-uh, nope, not so fast. Uh, let's talk about uh, the best times to see it and also if we'll even have a chance there. Uh, it's going to be late tonight into early morning for tomorrow. Uh, best viewing, viewing location, of course, get away from the city. And the bad news is that you're probably going to have to drive northwest because those are the areas that are going to see the clouds first, which means the clouds will clear up in those areas first as well. But I will mention clouds return tonight. And as far as the system I was referring to, it's right here. We'll get the sunshine for today and then slowly we'll turn partly cloudy in the afternoon. But notice this system right here. This is the one that will bring the rainfall timeline 4 a.m. And you could see it moves in roughly around 11 o'clock all the way into the morning hours, so it's going to be tough to see the show, unfortunately, and we have a pretty decent shot of seeing it, and we're going to have the clouds to talk about. The system is already showing.